Zinc doesn't usually steal the show in the skincare world, but if you're someone who suffers from acne or even premature aging, you might be overlooking a quiet hero. In this video, we're going to look at the role of zinc in food and supplements and skincare and explain how this essential mineral supports healthy, resilient, glowing skin. First, a quick hello if you're new here. My name is Fiona and I'm a registered nutritionist with a master's degree in nutritional medicine. On this channel, we chat all things food and skin. So if that interests you, stick around, subscribe, and maybe even check out my evidence-based skincare guides. So let's uncover what the science really says about zinc. Zinc is a trace mineral, which means your body needs it in only tiny amounts, but its effects are far from small. In fact, zinc is involved in over 300 enzyme reactions in your body. And in your skin, this translates to several big ticket items. It helps to regulate oil production, which influences acne. It supports wound healing, which means it's essential for skin resilience and repair. It has antioxidant properties, which means it helps to protect your skin against oxidative stress and signs of aging. And it has a key role in immune function, including your skin's barrier. If you imagine your skin like a brick wall, zinc is like the foreman on the building site. It looks at the bricks, which are your skin cells, it checks for cracks, and it keeps out intruders like pathogens and pollution. Now, a lot of the zinc that we eat goes straight to our skin, so it makes sense that zinc insufficiency is associated with lots of skin conditions. Studies have found that people with acne have significantly lower levels of zinc in their blood and in their skin, and the lower the level of zinc, the worse the acne. Some types of acne respond really well to zinc supplementation, and we'll come onto that shortly when we explore dosages and forms. And when it comes to aging, zinc contributes to collagen synthesis and DNA repair, which are two behind the scenes jobs which play a really important role in keeping your skin smooth and firm. Topical zinc can also be really helpful for anti-aging, and again, we will come onto that shortly. So are you eating enough zinc? Now zinc is found in a range of foods, but some foods are much better sources than others. Animal-based foods like beef and lamb and oysters and chicken liver are great sources of zinc, not just because they're rich in zinc, but because the zinc is really easily absorbed. Plant-based sources of zinc are things like legumes, which are beans and lentils, and also nuts and seeds and whole grains. But here's the catch. These foods also contain a substance called phytic acid, which binds to the zinc and reduces how much your body can absorb. So while a bowl of lentils contains zinc, your body will probably struggle to actually use much of it. And this matters because research suggests that over one in 10 Americans and up to one in five Europeans aren't eating enough zinc. And this is especially true for vegetarians, vegans, and older adults. Now in the US, the recommended daily allowance or RDA for zinc is eight milligrams for women and 11 milligrams a day for men. To give you an idea of what that looks like, you could hit that amount in about a 200 gram steak, just two oysters, or three to four cups of cooked lentils, although only a fraction of that would be absorbed. As a general rule of thumb, to get enough zinc, you want to be eating high quality, responsibly sourced meat, a few times a week. And not all of us can do that or want to do that. And even so, some researchers argue that these RDAs are still too low for people with chronic skin conditions, especially acne. In fact, some studies suggest that up to 30 milligrams of elemental zinc a day may be needed to see a real clinical benefit in conditions like acne. That leads us nicely on to zinc supplements. So compared to other nutrients, zinc has actually been studied pretty extensively in regards to skin, especially acne. One review of 14 clinical trials concluded that zinc supplementation can be really helpful in inflammatory acne, and in some cases it rivals conventional treatment with way fewer side effects. Now, this is an image from a trial where they use zinc in combination with other antioxidant nutrients, and as you can see, it can work. Clinically, I've seen zinc can be most helpful in the inflammatory, quote-unquote, hormonal acne picture 
nature. So if your acne is triggered or driven by something else, say food sensitivities or fungal overgrowth, zinc may not be as effective for you. And not all supplements are created equal. There are different forms of zinc used in supplements. Some of the most common include zinc piclinate, zinc gluconate, zinc glycinate or bisglycinate, zinc methionine, zinc citrate and also zinc oxide. Now understanding two key details here, the elemental value and the bioavailability can make all the difference between a supplement working really well and it not doing anything at all. So first let's look at elemental zinc. That's the amount of pure actual zinc in the tablet. So for example zinc picanolate is about 20% elemental zinc so 50 milligrams of zinc picanolate will actually give you 10 milligrams of actual zinc. But then you have the second issue of bioavailability. Now zinc oxide is about 80% elemental zinc but it's not very bioavailable which means it's not very easy for your body to use it so not much gets to your skin. Some research suggests that zinc gluconate, zinc glycinate and zinc picanolate are some of the better more bioavailable forms. So to see a difference in skin health particularly with acne most research points to 15 to 30 milligrams of elemental zinc taken daily for 8 to 12 weeks. So you have to be smart when choosing a supplement. First, make sure it's a bioavailable form. So say a zinc picanolate or a zinc bisglycinate, and then carefully read the label. Make sure the label tells you how much elemental zinc you're getting per tablet. Brands who know what they're doing will say, provides 15 milligram zinc, brackets as zinc picanolate for example. Most people who are looking to optimize their skin will benefit from 15 to 30 milligrams of elemental zinc daily as a medium term intervention. But do not, I repeat, do not go above 40 milligrams of elemental zinc long term without medical guidance. And this is important because you can take too much zinc. It competes with copper for absorption. So if you're taking it for more than a few weeks, you want to monitor your copper status or choose a multivitamin in that balances the zinc and the copper. Broadly speaking, you need about one milligram of copper for every 10 milligrams of zinc. So choose a bioavailable form, scrutinize the label and be safe. You must always check with your doctor before starting any new supplements, especially if you're pregnant or breastfeeding or on any medications. And if you do proceed with a zinc supplement, make sure you take it with food because otherwise it can make you super nauseous. Right, that's supplements. Now let's talk to Zinc is increasingly used in skincare for two key reasons. One, its role as a skin protectant and two, its anti-inflammatory properties. You'll commonly see two types of zinc on skincare labels, zinc oxide and also zinc PCA. Zinc oxide, this is the white mineral used in physical sunscreens, so it's a powerful anti-aging ingredient. It sits on the surface of your skin where it reflects and absorbs and scatters UV rays ultimately protecting your skin and keeping signs of aging at bay. Non-nano zinc just remains on the skin's surface. Now nano zinc is a newer ingredient with a more elegant cosmetic feel. It is a bit more contentious although the research we have so far does suggest that it still doesn't penetrate much beyond the very outer layers of your skin. Zinc oxide based sunscreens are much better tolerated by people with sensitive or reactive skin and especially people who suffer with rosacea. Now my skin doesn't do very well with chemical sunscreens. I find I react quite a lot to them. So I always use a zinc oxide based sunscreen too. The other form of zinc that crops up in skincare is zinc PCA. Now this is zinc combined with PCA, which is a component of your skin's natural moisturizing factor. This form helps to regulate sebum and control inflammation, which is why you often see it in products targeting acne prone skin. Now, unlike zinc oxide, which just sits on your skin surface, zinc PCA PCA may penetrate a little bit deeper where it has been shown to control breakouts and reduce redness in some small scale studies. Now the Ordinary's Niacinamides Plus Zinc is the product that really put zinc PCA on the skincare map and it can be a great product to have in your toolkit if you do have oily or acne prone skin. Now topical zinc may also help with wound healing and barrier repair. You often see it in diaper or nappy rash creams for example.
example, but it's not a miracle worker. If you're dealing with stubborn skin issues, you'll see the most benefit from zinc when you combine internal and external approaches. So to sum up, zinc is a quiet but powerful ally in the world of skin health. It helps to reduce inflammation, it supports skin healing, it regulates oil production, and even slows down some signs of aging. You can get it from food, especially high quality animal-based foods, but if you don't eat those or if you struggle with your skin, a supplement might be worth considering. And in skincare, zinc-based sunscreens and zinc PCA have definitely earned themselves a place on your skincare shelf. If you've tried zinc for your skin with either your food, your supplements or your skincare, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear what's worked for you. And if you would like a full skin nutrition framework, check out my Age Beautifully Guide, which is like an instruction manual for your skin. If you liked this video, you'll love my playlist on skincare nutrients, which I will pop there for you. I hope to see you there, but in the meantime, thank you for watching.